Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good day to everyone. Honorable Robin Yearwood, Minister of Public Utilities, Transportation, Civil Aviation, JetBlue Airways Executive Vice President and Commercial Planning, Mr. Marty St. George, JetBlue Airways Vice President of Government Affairs, Mr. Jeff Goodwell, JetBlue Airways Director of Getaways and Leisure Sales, Mr. Umang Gupta, and JetBlue Airways Manager of Latin America and Caribbean Communications, Ms. Elizabeth Ilman. Mr. Alexis Marty, Director of Airline Relationships and Sales Development for Sanders Resorts, Permanent Secretaries, Chairman Potter, Ms. Shirley Nibbs, Ms. Marie Walker, CEO Colin James, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a good day, as the Honorable Minister just said. Today is a joyous day for all of us in Antigua. Today is a good day because all signs point to 2015 as being a landmark year for Antigua and Barbuda's tourism. As the primary engine of growth of our nation's economy, our tourism industry is vital. It is dynamic and it is evolving. These intense negotiations and planning over the last several months have brought us to this point where we can now celebrate another first in aviation for Antigua and Barbuda. We are here to mark another milestone, the announcement of the introduction of a non-stop service from JFK to Antigua and Barbuda on JetBlue Airways. Clearly, visitors to Antigua and Barbuda already have a lot to look forward to in 2015, as the country is in the final stages of the journey to complete our brand new airport terminal, which will, you will take a brief tour right after this ceremony. As the largest, most modern airport facility in the region, it promises to be the pride of the Eastern Caribbean, as Minister Year would have just told you, which will operate to world-class standards. And when this state-of-the-art facility is unveiled in a few weeks, hopefully, it will send a very clear signal of the development underway in our tourism industry and the increasing prosperity of Antigua and Barbuda. As the point of entry for air travelers, the VC Bird International Airport will provide the perfect backdrop to highlight some of the destination's unique selling points, among which are rich history and cultural attractions, a range of exquisite resorts, 365 pristine, beautiful beaches, and one of the most prestigious sailing regattas in the world, the Antigua Sailing Week that we are celebrating this very week. The new airport terminal will also symbolize the pathway to securing Antigua and Barbuda's economic legacy as we usher in an era of improved accessibility, growth, and expansion with increased stay over visitors, new airline partners, expanded and luxurious room capacities, and an overall enhanced image. Our new terminal has been designed to meet the needs of today's modern travelers and will give the destination a competitive advantage. It will also expand our capacity for conducting business and will increase our carrier and landing capacity. And it will be equipped with jet bridges, reliable kiosks, modern gate and ticketing areas, as the minister told us, that will allow for a smoother arrival and boarding experience. And of course, it will include several upscale restaurants and high-end duty-free shopping. This superior passenger destination experience will reflect the way today's travelers live and choose to spend their time. Ladies and gentlemen, this renewed focus on a superior experience that Antigua and Barbuda is embarking upon is directly aligned with the philosophy of our JetBlue partners. My understanding is that our newest airline partner has not only declared that JetBlue exists to provide superior service in every aspect of our customers' air travel experience, but in order to reaffirm this commitment, they've actually set forth a Bill of Rights for their customers. And as part of our development plans, we want to capitalize on the rebound in the U.S. economy, 
our largest and fastest growing source market. We are increasing our room count with new hotel investments and projects to expand our portfolio of properties and meet the diverse demands of the new visitors. The capacity of our new airport terminal will allow us to handle up to 2 million passengers per year. So naturally, one of the future goals is to significantly increase the number of visitors that currently pass through our international airport terminal. But to accomplish this objective, we have developed an airline strategy to increase airlift by attracting new carriers from our existing source markets. At the same time, we're exploring new gateways that will help us cultivate new source markets. Opening new air access with convenient flight options is the key to getting more heads into beds. To this end, we are pleased to announce the introduction of a non-stop service from JFK to Antigua and Barbuda on JetBlue Airways. And I want to personally thank Mr. St. George and his team at JetBlue Airways for their confidence in our plans and in the confidence of Prime Minister Brown's administration for tourism and our tourism product, which is demonstrated by this new service. The flights will commence, I'm told, in November of this year, just in time for the winter season, operating three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. JetBlue will be using the 150-seat spacious Airbus, Airbus A320 aircraft, which offers travelers all of the amenities for which JetBlue has become renowned. Combined with the extremely competitive fares, which will be a critical component of this partnership, we will see increased arrivals between the United States of and Antigua and Barbuda. JetBlue will provide greater access to visitors traveling from the northeast region of the U.S., and this is expected to stimulate a significant increase in stayover visitors, allowing Antigua and Barbuda to further benefit from the U.S. market with more convenient non-stop flight <coughs> options. We are already intensifying our marketing efforts, and we work closely with the travel trade to package and sell Antigua and Barbuda in key markets. In closing, I also thank the Honorable Prime Minister, Gaston Brown, the Honorable Minister of Aviation and Public Utilities and Transportation, Mr. Robin Yearwood, my cabinet colleagues and our partners in the private sector, and my team at the Ministry of Tourism, the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Authority, the Airport Authority, Chairman Potter, and his team, who have given their full support to facilitate JetBlue's service to Antigua. Mr. St. George, Ms. Elman, Mr. Goodell, Ms. Gupta, and of course, Mr. Alexis Marty. Welcome all to beautiful Antigua and Barbuda. We look forward <laughs> We look forward to even more an auspicious event when in November, when we will see the first 150 JetBlue passengers disembarking in our beautiful country. May the partnership that has been started today be one that will be cemented in bonds of respect and friendship that will yield the mutual benefits to both JetBlue Airways, to Antigua and Barbuda. Thank you. <laughs>